Hi guys, it's Gary from Screams and Thrills here. We're at Chessington today, and already we're having a very bad start to the day. There's no disabled parking available because they've took up disabled parking spaces to put the electric charging points in, and they're also putting disabled parking spaces in place for workers to park in, which is not very fair at all. Uh, so there's no disabled parking left. So now we've got to park in the normal car parking, which is not suitable for disabled guests. So yeah, straight away we're not having a very good time already and we're not even in the park yet. So we will be heading to guest services at some point and reporting that because that is really unfair for disabled guests. And in the car park that we're in, this is the state of the car park as well, which we have had to, we have to walk across this. This is absolutely ridiculous. Chessington, you're letting yourselves down yet again. This is the third visit we've had at Chessington. And each time we've came, there's been issues. You need to sort it out, Chessington. You really do. So now we're through the, check, the security checkpoint. A little bit more thorough this time, because even though you've had your bag search, you also get someone who's wiping you over with a wand, I suppose, is the terminology. Um, just to make sure you haven't got anything on your person. Um, it does seem quite busy here today and I appreciate obviously disabled parking is first come first serve but for workers to be parking in disabled parking is ridiculous they should have their own separate parking elsewhere so let's get through the turnstiles and see how today goes so we're through the turnstiles staff of the turnstiles we're okay we've had a bring a friend voucher which was originally for Saturday I believe it was but we changed it to today's date and because the original ticket on our phone showed Saturday's date you know, they were telling us that we had to go to the turnstiles um, to go and get that changed but when we explained to them we've already changed it online and it should scan because it has that thorp and um, the one that we originally had today from thorp they scanned it and went oh yeah that's working Instead of just taking the customer's words and trying in the first place. So far we've not even been on any rides yet. I mean, we've only gone through the gate and it's not been a very good experience already. Straight away we came in to do a quick toilet break and to get our drink vessels, re well, drink vessel reactivated and straight away the supply shop at the beginning, at, well, as soon as you come through the turnstile, it's closed. So now we've got to find another shop get the drinks vessel reactivated. All right, so first ride of the day was on Dragon's Fury. Very strange loading system on that. Apparently you can't have four adults sat in the same car, but yet at All in Towers and Spinball Wizards, which is basically the same type of ride, you can. You apparently he you can only have three adults in a car. Very strange, very unusual. Um, also, as you can see by the footage on your screen now, we're not going to have the knee back off this because the steps seems very unsecure to me. The bolt is on the bottom. So, um, yeah, we bring that to there again. <laughs> so, we've just had a ride on the Gruffalo ride. Nice little ride, that one. Obviously, more suited towards children, but still a fun little ride. Nice little water ride. Get a little bit wet, but not much. Um, we're going to try and head over to Vampire next. Um, one of our favourite coasters here. Um, and see how that's running today. Oh, <laughs> 
So we've popped out at the sea lion bait, have a look at the sea lions, lovely animals these, really are, so majestic. We've had a little bit of work done around this area. The only thing I would say about sea lion bait is that back wall really needs some attention to it. Really needs a repaint. It's looking very tired now, including the sign. It's looking very tired. So we've just been on a ride on Vampire. It's a nice little course to that. It's not too intense. It's got no inversions on it. Um, it, it. It is starting to show its age a bit, I would say, though. I think if any course the next on the Merlin Park needs some attention to it, I think it's Vampire. They've took all the theming out of the end section, the tunnel section. You can see all the machinery, all the mechanics. Where before that used to be all covered over, you used to have theming pieces in there. So yeah, I think if any ride needs a bit of TLC, it's gonna have to be Vampire, I would say. It's starting to show its age. It's one of the oldest courses on the park here. Um, the manufacturer of the ride is actually no longer exists, um, but they managed to get new ride trains for it um, from Vacoma. Um, they managed to modify it so they would fit. So if they can do that, I'm pretty sure they can do a bit more maintenance on it. In the sense, of even just giving it a bit of a, a jet wash, that track is really looking worse for wear in the sense of dirtiness um, but we're going to have a little wander through the zoo now because we're timed out for about 40 minutes on our wrap um, so we're going to have a little wander through and have a look at the animals a long tail oh it's wrong manning
seems to be having some work getting done to the mini stage in preparation for the main season. This is a stage in addition to the main stage. So that's how we're just and done with another not brilliant visit. Um, an email will be getting sent over to Chesterton with what we've experienced today. Very disappointing if I'm honest. The few hours that we did get on weren't too bad. Apart from, in my eyes, the safety problem with uh, Dragon's Fury's evac area. But uh, head on back to the car now.